All right, here we go. We labeled these. Uh, we've got our opposite side over here with 30. We have the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. Again, the hypotenuse, easiest one to find. It's across from the right angle. It's the longest side. Adjacent is the other line that is touching that angle. And then the opposite, we know what the opposite is. It's the one furthest away from our angle. All right, so sine of theta is so, S-O-H, is the opposite over the hypotenuse, so 30 over 34. They're both even, divisible by 2, so we'll reduce that fraction to 15 seventeenths. Cosine of theta, ka was a then h, so adjacent over the hypotenuse. Again, both even, we can simplify that, divided by 2, 8 seventeenths. And then the tangent toa is the opposite, 30, over the adjacent, 16. Divide them both by 2, you get 15 eighths. That's it. Now we're going to talk about these special triangles. You probably do remember these. So you have 45, 45, 90 triangles, and you have 30, 60, 90 triangles. Now the good thing about the 45, 45 triangles is two of the sides are the same. So the two side lengths are equal to each other. And then you'll notice the hypotenuse is the side length times the square root of 2. So if you know the side length is 10, then the hypotenuse would be 10 root 2, right? And then if you're working backwards and they gave you the hypotenuse, to get back to a side, you would just divide by root 2. That's fun. Now the 30, 60, 90 has three different sides on it. But the deal, as always, the hypotenuse is the longest side. You'll see that is labeled with 2y. Now the smallest side, which is right down here, is labeled as y. It's half of the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is 20, and the short side would be 10. And then the third side, which is right in the middle, right? The hypotenuse is the longest. You got your shortest down here. The middle one is just the short side times the square root of 3. So if you're going to confuse the roots, uh, then 45, 45, 90 is root 2 because there's only um, two different angles, right? It's either 45 degrees or 90 degrees. Whereas the 30, 60, 90 has three different angles, so root 3. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's try one of these out. Find the unknown side lengths of each triangle. So this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So that means the two sides are going to be equal to each other. So this side would also be 6. The hypotenuse on a 45, 45, 90 triangle is the side length times the square root of 2. So the side length is 6 times the square root of 2 is just 6 root 2. Too easy, Mr. Planet. Too easy. Let's try one a little more difficult. Okay. All right. Don't say I didn't warn you. It's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Now, this is the shortest side over here. And by the way, the shortest side is always between the 60 degree angle and the right angle. But remember, the hypotenuse is just twice as long as that. So this side up here would be 2 times 12, which is 24. And then the other side is your short side, 12 times the square root of 3. 12 root 3. That's it. Now you can always check those with the Pythagorean theorem and it works out as well. Oh boy. Here's where it gets a little dicey. You know what? I'll just start the next video and this is it. We're almost done.